This is probably the best 1080p card you can get at the moment, especially for its price. This is MSI's GTX 960 Gaming 2G. This is a 2 gig graphics card with a hell of a lot of power for the money. So as always in the back of the box, there's plenty of spiel about the Torx fans, Super Zoo heat pipes, the Zero Frozer cooler, and their gaming app, little app application or applet. Um, we're going to be talking about all of those in this video, but first, what's in the box? It comes with a product leaflet, a user guide, a 6-pin to 8-pin adapter, the actual card itself, and a driver disc, which you should probably throw out. The 6-pin to 8-pin adapter is a little bit different because it's actually just a 6-pin to an 8-pin as opposed to two 6-pins to one 8-pin, which is very nice. Now, as I said, the card does look very, very nice with that sort of twin Frozer 5 slash 0 Frozer cool heatsink um, and basically it's just a very cool heatsink with fans that work independently of each other meaning that if one side of the card's a bit hotter for example the chip itself is a bit too hot one of the fans will spin up um, more than the other one which is pretty awesome now the, each of these 10 centimeter fans can actually turn completely off and when not gaming or anything do turn completely off which means that this means that the build itself can be very quiet and then when you're gaming you know when it doesn't matter as much for that perfect silence you can get you know a lot more performance performance with a little bit more noise. Now on the side of the card there is a glowing MSI logo, it does only glow white but I'm not too fussed about that, I'd rather have just white than a set, than you know just red or just blue or something um, as it doesn't always fit with everyone's uh, you know uh, colour schemes and it has triple heat pipes on the side as well as that 8 pin power connector that powers the card. Something I found quite interesting was it actually has a metal plate between the PCB and the cooler to keep the card rigid and not flex. It's something that had uh, actually was in the 970 and the 980, but I didn't quite notice before. It's a very cool thing, and it means you don't need a backplate, even though I do like backplates as well. Now on the, on the uh, rear IU, we have a DVI-D dual link, HDMI, and three display ports. All of those are full-size connectors, which means you may need adapters, especially for those display port outputs. Now, uh, on the features of the card, there's 1024 CUDA cores, the clock speed is, uh, depending on which mode you're in, uh, up to 1.2 GHz, and uh, the memory clock is around about 7 GHz. Now, it does look like there's memory chips on the back, which is quite interesting, and something that I didn't quite notice before. Now, in benchmarks, this thing performed very, very well. It came out uh, in grid 2 as having roughly uh, the same as, uh, well, uh, roughly in between a 970 and a R9 280. This is pretty much the perfect competitor for a 280X, and as you can see, and I'll, I'll probably shut up for a second, you can see all the benchmarks here and let yourself, you know, see what you think, basically. So as you can see, this card does perform very, very well, and I do like it quite a lot. Now the MSI gaming app really isn't quite there yet, especially with this introduction thing that seems to pop up every time I you know, turn on the computer and the buttons aren't quite there yet. But if you hit that little frozer uh, sort of symbol, um, that will actually ramp the fan speed up to 100% for I think it's about a minute and then it will turn it back off again. Um, it is cool because you can have this up, you can see the clock speed and then you can basically change the clock speed depending on what mode you're in. And uh, as you can see on the left there, that's MSI Afterburner with the sort of custom skin that comes with it. Also in the gaming app you can turn the LED on and off and you can change the colour temperature of the screen which I actually find quite annoying personally but that's just me. So the pros and cons of this uh, are that it's great for 1080p gaming, it's literally the perfect card for 1080p gaming right now and it's great value for money in the 200 to 100 pound price point. It's really good looking, it comes overclocked out of the box and you can overclock it further and it's still sturdy as hell with that aluminium uh, sort of tensor plate in the middle. 
The cons of this is that it doesn't come with the DisplayPort adapters in the box. I'd really like to see those as they are fairly expensive for end users to buy. And the other one is that I don't own one. This really is amazing value for money, which is why it's going to get a 5 for that. It's going to get a 4 performance. It's not quite as good as a 980 or 970. Obviously, that's to be expected. But for value for money, um, it's going to get a 4 for that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, functionality is going to be a 4 because the MSI gaming app, the thing they're really pushing for it, uh, is just kind of not quite there yet. It's going to get a 5 still as a really do like it including that white LED and it's going to get a 5 for a tech team BB score. Now it's going to get a budget buster award because it really is one of the best uh, value for money cards out there especially for 1080p gaming right now. It really is a, you know genuinely an amazing card and if you're looking to only do 1080p gaming for the next one or two or maybe even three years this thing is perfect for that because it can still play all modern titles and older titles at 60 frames a second easily enough which is probably just about good enough for you. Now please do check out the written review that's going to be on techteamgb.co.uk uh, we're going to be writing that in probably about five minutes after this video is done so uh, yeah please do check that out it will be up at the same time as this video launches so either way the video should be there. It should be a full written review just like this Gigabyte motherboard review so please do check it out and other than that we will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and feel free to hit like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the card, the review, the written review, or anything else in the comments down below. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video. You've probably seen enough of me already, so I'm going to go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already liked or disliked, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos, hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also, um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out, um, and yeah, obviously shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.